Now, as you get st- uh, into welding thicker things, it's, it's, I guess it's really considered more as plate uh, instead of sheet metal. The, you still need to worry about this, but it's not, you're not going to have as much bowing going on simply because it's, it's pretty thick metal. Uh, anything like a quarter inch thick or, or more is not really going to bow too much, uh, at least not anything that you're probably going to be welding in your garage. Um, but say you're welding two pieces of plate together, you have, you have two square pieces of plate, and you want to weld them together right down the middle, uh, what you do need to worry about is, uh, I call it the butterfly effect, um, and that is that it'll actually, each side will actually start to bow up towards the end and actually have form like, uh, you know, like wings. And so you need to make sure that everything is clamped down because that heat generated from the weld really will, really wants to pull everything in. Uh, it's just the nature of the beast. Well, all right, so let's answer some questions. All right, so I got a couple of some some good questions here from uh, some of the some of these are coming from the actual at home welder community themselves, and some are coming from uh, some YouTube subscribers and uh, kind of questions coming out from all over the place. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get into this. So the first one's coming from Matthew S. Now I kind of forgot to get permission to use y'all's uh, your whole name, so I'm giving the initial here. Matthew S. of the at home welder community asked. Um, where, what are the good metal sources? Like where do, where do I get my metal? Um, and honestly, you know, I get my metal from all over the place. Uh, it's something since that's kind of where you're spending most of your money, uh, you know, you, you really want to shop around and, and be aware of what your options really are. Now, as far as the ornamental side goes for railings and gates, all the pretty cool stuff with all the castings and that kind of thing. Uh, I pretty much, I, I go to two places. Uh, one is called IMS, that's Industrial Metals and Surplus, and that's a place that's local here to me in Atlanta, Georgia. Now, I know they ship some stuff out uh, to places not too far away, but you know if you're in California, you're probably out of luck as far as they're concerned. Um, so th- that's one, one key thing is you check around in your, in your surrounding area. See if you have places because there are a lot of smaller places that stock a lot of ornamental stuff that you've you probably just never heard of because, well, you never looked for them. So look around and see what's, what's available in, in your area. Now, if you don't have anything in your area, the next best place and probably where I order – well, actually where I order anything else that I don't get from IMS is called King Architectural Metals. King is the shizzy as far as I'm concerned. That place is awesome. They have – just a huge, huge amount of stuff. Uh, they have three locations all across the country, so it doesn't matter where you're located. They can get stuff to you very, very quickly. Uh, they have a place in California, they have a place in Texas, and they have a place in Baltimore. So you can see they're strategically located all over the, on, they're on both sides of the country, and then slap dab in the middle. So uh, pretty much you can get anything within a matter of days, two or three days at the most. And they just have a huge selection. They have free catalogs, free design catalogs. Um, just all sorts of stuff. And they also have raw steel as well. So if you just want to buy uh, some tubing or some pipe or some sheet and that kind of thing. Although I really don't recommend buying stuff like that from them if you can find like an actual steel supplier. Um, Because they, you know, they deal mostly in ornamental stuff and that's really where they make most of their money. So so they kind of mark up uh, the raw steel side of things. Um, So as far as raw steel goes, you can check out uh, you can just really Google any of those in your area. There's probably tons and tons in the air, in any area you live in uh, that, that will get stuff to you quickly. Uh, for here, uh, for me, it's Sable Steel, and they're located out of Birmingham, but they have little hubs located all over in the southeast. And uh, But, yeah, for me, uh, you know, I use Sable Steel. I use uh, Metal Supermarkets. Metal Supermarkets is great. Uh, because metal supermarkets, they're kind of located all over the country in different places. And you can go to uh, metalsupermarkets.com, I believe. It's it's as simple as that online. And you can get a, a, a list of all their locations and where they're at and, and contact information. But the great thing about metal supermarkets is you can actually just buy what you want. Now, and what I mean by that is say you only want, uh, say you want 12 feet of material they're only going to charge you for 12 feet. Now they'll charge you for cutting it, but they're not going to charge you for an entire 20 stick, 20 foot stick or 25 foot stick, whatever that piece comes in, plus the cutting charge, plus a delivery fee to give it to you. Like you're going to get, uh, say it's Sable Steel or any place like that. They're not going to cut off a piece and not charge you for the whole thing. 
So you're really getting gypped if you only order 12 feet from Sable Steel because they'll gladly cut 12 feet off and just keep the rest and uh, just you know recycle the rest uh, and make you pay for all of it. So metal supermarkets, they're very, very inexpensive. Uh, the metal is usually extremely clean. I think they keep everything indoors, uh, which is kind of a downside to some of these bigger supply houses is most of their stuff is kept outside, so uh, it's it'll come to you extremely oily or sometimes kind of rusty, and you do have to do some cleaning. Uh, but metal supermarkets is great because you can just buy what you need, and they'll they'll usually deliver everything to you within a day, uh, unless they have to special order something. Um, so that's pretty much it as far as uh, where I get my materials. Uh, my biggest tip is King Metals, and they have a great website too. Very very good website um, that you that you can go through very, very easily, find weights and pricing. So if you have to have something shipped to you, you can figure it out pretty quickly. And they have great customer service. Um, now, so we have another question. Uh, so Matthew S., I hope that uh, answers your questions. Um, and uh, I'll, as I come up with more uh, resources, you know, I'll, I'll spit those out at you guys too. There's also a couple smaller places like Lawler, Foundry, um, but they have little small people. Like you can kind of be a, a salesperson for Lawler and the people will order stuff through you and then Lawler ships it to you. So Lawler's pretty good. They have some, some cast stuff that a lot of places don't have just because they are a foundry. Um, but then it's, it's also more of a pain in the butt and costs a little bit more to get those materials to you because you're dealing with the middleman. All right, so that's it for this first ever episode of the Welder Tips podcast and the last ever episode of the At Home Welder podcast. I uh, hope you got some good stuff out of it, and let me know what you think about the new format because uh, I'm pretty psyched about this format. I think it's going to work out really well, but then again, you know, it's, it's all up to you. I really want to know what you guys think and if uh, the information is going to be helpful, and if there's anything that you want to hear on the show, by all means, send it in. So send all your questions to questions at the at home welder.com it's questions at the at home welder.com or you can leave them in the show notes for this podcast or you can find me on twitter that's home welder that's that's like twitter.com forward slash home welder and then of course we're on facebook as well on the uh, facebook fan page just type in at home welder and you'll find us so that's it so until next time keep the sparks of flying you've been listening to the welding tip podcast by the at home welder for more great welding tips and tricks like these and to claim your free MIG Welding 101 video course, go to the at homewelder.com and start welding today.